I'm going to start right now. All right. <clears throat> so can everybody see my screen? Yes. Okay. Everybody can hear me well? Yes. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Okay. So uh, for the past, I would say, two weeks, I've been uh, doing some research on different strategies that we can definitely use to beat the market. Like I was telling um, Wilmo, <clears throat> I used to basically call out swing plays and they would actually work because I could definitely chart them and see exactly where the stock is heading throughout the week. But now it's been crazy, crazy, crazy with, 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 with just a bunch of stuff going on in the stock market that we can't anticipate on a stock doing what, what needs to be done the next day anymore. And, and that's crazy because I know a lot of people, um, especially with the new people in the group, they don't have, you know, a lot of people don't have $5,000 or $25,000 to avoid the PDT rule and so forth. So that's why I used to set a lot of swing plays that even go up, uh, into two days, a lot of swing plays where it would actually work. We would profit from that. Okay. So, and I've been seeing that every time I try to do it and I've been testing it, it doesn't work. The swing plays does not work anymore. Some may work, but majority of them, the, the, uh, the, inst the big institutions are like eating us up after hours. You can see, you can see it every time after 4.30, 4 o'clock, between 5, 6, 7 o'clock, and even from 5 o'clock to like 8 o'clock in the morning, you see each stock go up and down like crazy because of the institutions are just taking over because they know exactly what we're doing. I don't know if anybody know that. They know exactly what type of move that we're doing. So basically they're counter interacting with what we're trying to do. So I found a strategy. And before I even present it to anyone, I tested out myself with real money. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't use paper money or anything like that. I used my real money to, to, to do certain trades, to go in certain trades, and it's actually working. And what's what it's called? It's a, uh, it's called an orb. It's a um, what is it? Open range breakout. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. It's an open range breakout, and what it is is simple. The first fifteen minute candlestick. Okay, you set a support and resistance on it, and it's very simple. And if, if it goes above that price range, that first 15 minute price range, it will continue to go up. If it goes below that price range, that open price range, it will definitely continue to go down. And I'm going to show you, in, in, uh, I'm going to show you a visual what it looked like. So, the indicator, and there's actually an indicator to help you also. The indicator. It's called an orb, it's an ORB 15 minute. And what it does, it calculates the open, the first open candle. It automatically calculates the, the open range, the highest it open and the lowest it close just from 930, uh, to 9.30 to 9.45. Okay, so it calculates that automatically for you. You don't have to do anything else. The only thing that you have to do, that we have to do, is calculate when should we enter a particular play, depending on if it's going up or down. Okay, I definitely want to use that. And for added backup, what I want you guys to use is the the nine and twenty. Can somebody mute their phone real quick? Yeah, that's me. Sorry. Okay. Mom, move twenty. I mean, Dylan. All right, thank you. So, and what we're going to use also as a confirmation is the nine and 20 uh, SMA or EMA, it doesn't really matter. And if you can't find it, that's fine. If you, are, if you already have a, a, a three channel SMA or EMA, the only thing that you have to do is to go into the settings and change it. You can just hit the uh, hit nine here, hit twenty here. Don't worry about that. You just go to style and you X that out. You X that two hundred out because we don't need it. So you just need these two here, which is the nine and a twenty. Press OK and it automatically appear and set for you. All right. 
after that, that is all you need. Or so, uh, I know a lot of people still want more confirmation. You can use either the Scotastics or the MACD just for added bonus, but I don't really like to use those. I just want to basically use this because all this is just noise. You, you're going to try to look at this, look at this, look at that. No, I want us to hit our target, hit our entry and our target as soon as possible before we look into these. So that's why it's very important, again, always to definitely know how to read the charts. But this is already set up for you, which is perfect. So the 15 minute or basically it calculates the first 15 minutes, first 15 minute candle, okay? And then after that, it, it has a support and resistance. And the only thing we need to do is to basically locate a entry. Now, when I want to get it to an entry is very simple. The nine SMA has to be, I'm sorry, the candlestick has to be above the nine SMA. It definitely has to be above it. And also the 20. I like to use the 20 as a golden cross type thing, which basically will tell you that that direction will continue for a longer period of time. Okay. As you can see, it, it, the, the uh, February 14th yesterday, it opened up red. All right, so this is the uh, this is the open, this is the open high, and this is the open low for this first 930 15 minute candle. After that, as you can see, the nine is the blue, the 20 is the green. As you can see, it crossed right here. It crossed around uh, 1015, between 1015, 1030. And it's been under that after that, it's been under that since around uh, two thirty or what was it, one thirty, about one thirty that afternoon. So it will give us around, let's say, a couple hours just to make profit. But again, here's one thing I don't want to do: I don't want to stay in this particular play for long. I would say a good hour, forty-five minutes to an hour, we get in, take profit, and move on to the next. All right, let me show you another example. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Tesla, okay? This is perfect. Tesla, it opened up at uh, 9.12.20, the highest on this 15 minute candle and the lowest was about 8.93.37 or so, all right? As you can see, it moved up. How or when we would take this trade, I would definitely like confirmation on the second once it's above the green or below the red uh, for a put or a call, I would definitely wait for the second. And as you can see, you see that golden cross? That's my confirmation to go in. But I definitely need to know once it goes above here, it will continue on an uptrend. And actually, as you can see, it continued on that uptrend all day long. Okay? So this is a perfect strategy, and, and it's, it's basically foolproof. It's basically pull through. And for the past two days, three days, uh, ever since last week, I was calling some calls off of that and people were profiting from that. So then I knew I was going to wait a little bit longer, but I was like, <laughs> Regina and um, Eldora's like, nah, we want to know now. We want to know now. So, <laughs> so I set them up. Actually, when was yesterday, right? I told you guys about it. Uh, that was Monday. Monday. Yeah, yeah, yesterday, yesterday, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yesterday was Monday, yeah. So I told you guys about it because I was just so excited on how well this particular strategy works. How well, let's go to another one. Let's go to AMD. AMD, perfect example. It opened up at uh, 252, around 252.10. It closed this 15-minute candle, 9.30. It closed at uh, 2.47. I would have entered right here because why? That golden cross set and it aligned exactly right here. So that golden cross is just a confirmation of knowing that this particular price or stock, this NVIDIA will continue higher. And actually, it actually did all day long. It went from, if we would have entered here at 255, we would have closed at 265. So that was a big, huge 10 bucks. Uh, 10 buck uh, price range we would have gotten and that probably would have been a 30 to 45 percent or actually a little more about 50 50 to 60 percent of profit if we would have opened up find that golden cross 
find exactly when that support and resistance is set. It, it, it was set automatically for you. So you don't have to even chart anything. You don't have to set anything else. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this or anything else. It opens up exactly like it is every single day at 930. It will already set it for you. And at 945, it will set the exact price that this first candle open and close. We set our nine and 20 uh, SMAs or EMAs. We wait for a confirmation right above the green or below to go either a call or a put for like an hour or so. Let's go to another one. Um, so if it's above the green, it's a call. If it's below the red, it's a put? Exactly. That's it. Nothing okay. else. And if you see this golden cross, you know that continuation will be longer, will last oh. longer. Usually I want to stay in the play for about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour to get profit. And if I don't see this particular golden cross, okay? But if it's above the nine, the main focus, even if you don't have the 20, if it's above the nine, then you know for a fact it will continue upwards. The nine would definitely be your support. Okay, so if it bounces close to it, you know for a fact it's going to bounce up. But if it goes down, it could be any type of news or anything like that. Actually, let's go to SPY, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. This is what happened with SPY today. It opened up good. It really didn't do anything it, it, until it was about to go under under the... Uh, uh, the 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 nine SMA and this was around this was around when people were starting knowing that Biden will talk today so people were just selling off a little bit. Biden didn't talk around didn't talk around uh, what um, later on in the afternoon but still people were kind of scared once they knew that Biden is going to speak today, so people sold off. Um, I guess a lot of people were just comfortable or knowing whatever the case may be buyers got in because it was so cheap buyers got in and brought the price up but then when biden spoke look what happened yep look what happened when biden spoke and after that biden you know was telling hey this war may not be in effect or whatever the case may be we're trying to work things out people were comfortable with that people were happy and the stock price went back up so gabe would that be a tweezer at that point, but it has a tail, but- This one, here? no, no, that no, would be a okay. tweezer. A tweezer would definitely have to be aligned with each other. Perfect alignment. Yeah, perfect okay. alignment. Let me show you what it's, uh, I always do this. Tweezer bottoms and tweezer tops. Um, let me show you a perfect one. Actually, this could be it too, right here. Um, it's, you see how it's aligned, the, the wick almost aligned together? Uh-huh. First, it has to have a trend. Okay. First That's trend. the first okay. number. First thing, it has to have a trend. So okay. the tweezer top and bottom are always reversals. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you see this particular uh, trend, you see then the tweezer bottom formed and it went up. Okay. I see. Okay. So it has to have a trend for that tweezer to, 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 to be in effect. As you can see here, it went up from, um, this was yesterday. It went up from uh, 1115 till about 1230 so about an hour and 15 minutes you would have been in profit but then see that tweezer top form because it was aligned those two wicks aligned i, I see it mm -hmm. and then what happened bam down. it went down okay all right can so I, that's what go ahead that was actually can i repeat the orb that you explained just so my my understanding okay this is absolutely how I okay so this is what i got not trying to act like i'm the perfect kid in the class okay uh, <laughs> go ahead girl <laughs> go ahead <laughs> Okay, so um, this right here is a strategy uh, at 930. We're going to look at the first 15 candle. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to be looking at the 90 and the, the 9 and the 20. Right. Once we identify that candle, and then we're going to see by the, by the second candle which direction it's going. Mm -hmm. And if it's going up, and we'll know that by the 9, we will, we'll stay in no, no more than an hour, but 90, 45 minutes to an hour. Mm hmm and then we're looking for that support uh, uh, to keep going up. Correct. Let me let me uh, 
you're missing a, just a tad bit uh, certain things. Let me okay. let me go to another one that's that's going down. Here. Okay. Give me one second. Actually, energy. Let me go to energy because energy didn't do well today. Let me go to XLE. No, that's not good. Let me go to, hold on one minute. Did Zom do well? No, Zom did okay. I'm trying to find one that went down today. Nike. See, this is in a range. I wouldn't trade anything here. Yes, I see. Because it's in a range. So it's not really doing anything that much. So even if you would have got here, you probably would have get stomped out um yeah. momentarily because of that yeah. tweezer right here there's a tweezer that was forming here and it went down i'm trying to find the one that that we can tr do puts on what about bank of america did they do good today um they did pretty well let me see bac yeah okay. this this is okay here's here's one here that that i wouldn't take and remember we have to have confirmation so it's first choppy. Instance, yeah you see how it's choppy it opened up well but then see that long sellers just came in for for some reason sellers just came in okay the nine and the 20 you see it, it's above it but i still wouldn't trust it wouldn't i would still wait for confirmation for that second or third red candle to be mm -hmm. above this uh to be below this all right, and then the nine and the 20 has to be above it. You see what I mean? For instance, like right here, you see how the nine and 20 is above the candlestick? So that means it's going on a downtrend. Anything that's above, any candlestick that's above these lines is on an uptrend, but it was just playing with us today. You see, I wouldn't yeah. even enter this until we see two nice red candles and it didn't show so you always wait for confirmation even if you see this you're like oh man yeah puts today and if you would have went in boom you would have got stopped out that's right okay We're how the... here's a perfect example tweezer bottom right there yeah okay tweezer bottom we would have gotten stopped out right there so always a confirmation of the second or third just to be sure uh, with this with with this particular strategy, let me find another good one. Let's go to Google. Google was the same thing. It opened up. It was about to go, but then it stopped out. So this is a choppy play. Would never enter this. Um, FB FB. Eh, we probably would have played this because this here would have been a, a, a good confirmation. But again, I don't trust it until I see some type of movement with the uh, SMAs. And at the end of the day, you see how it just went up? That golden cross came in and it went up. So FB might be a nice call tomorrow, might. We got to see what's going on pre-market with that. All right, but yeah, this, this particular strategy is a no-brainer. I love it. Um, it. It helped us, number one, stay out of trades that we can lose in a matter of seconds. Right. What about QQQ? QQQ, QQQ did okay. Again, QQQ, it opened up, choppy a little bit. It was trying to go up, but then sellers came in, it hit that resistance, it continued to hit the resistance, and then it flopped on us. But then it hit that nine EMA, that's a doji. This here's a doji candlestick. That doji yeah. is a reversal. And, you know, there's a lot of reversal candlesticks that you have to know with this particular play. With any play, actually, you have to know the signals before you enter. So even if we would have got here, that second candle, I don't trust it because it was in a full candlestick with a long wick. You see how it is right here? I wouldn't trust it yet until it was full. But then the next candle, it showed a reversal. I would have stayed out of it. Or... I would have I would have got in at, in a call because all this is doing right now is is hitting that support on that nine EMA. So that nine EMA that golden cross here is showing a nice uptrend. Here it's showing an uptrend, but then right here is choppy a little bit. I wouldn't trust it until it overlaps or go over that green bar, that green resistance, or the red support. It tried here. As you can see, it bounced off the nine once, twice, and then continue up. So this was okay, but still, I wouldn't trust it. You wouldn't make a lot of money here because it's so choppy. Mm -hmm. 
is so choppy. Um, this one here would have been good, okay, because we'd have got in here around ten thirty or let's say not a uh, ten fifteen, and we would have got out around ten forty five. So that's a good forty five minutes right here of profit we would have made and got out before we got stomped out. Okay. okay another thing too for directions what i would like to use for directions and to enter i want to use the 30 minute time frame that will show you a nice direction that it will continue on a nice little uptrend which is good if you want to enter then the five minute time frame is when we enter depending on if we're playing puts or calls we want to see this bad boy depending on where within the day that we see this particular cross, okay, that we wanna go in, or this particular uh, candlestick pattern where it's up, it's over, the, it's over the green, the second candlestick is a confirmation to go in, uh, to go in, and we probably would have spent like 15, 20, 15 to 45 minutes here on just small profit, maybe 10, 15%, and leave and go, go to the next. All right, so all this, this right here will help us throughout the day. This right here will help us throughout the day because the day prior, trying to go in for a swing, we may, it's a hit or miss right now. We may do it and we may not do it. But for this strategy, we know for a fact, this particular day, we can get in depending on where, we locate the trend where we locate the entry and where we locate the golden cross or the nine uh, EMA or SMA as a trend. Okay, any questions? Um, I don't know, we just gotta try. Oh yeah, it, it, it works. We just gotta <laughs> basically, tr you know, so what I want you guys to do just Everybody has trading view, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Everybody uh, could have like two, um, could show two different, two different uh, tickers. Yes. Perfect. I want you to pick the two. Now these have to have high IV because we want to get into a play for fit. Remember, we want to get into a play for no more than an hour. So within that hour frame, we want to know, we want to see that stock move. So the ones that I, I look at are these right here, my top, well, I added more, but the Apple, the Teslas, Microsoft, AMD, NVIDIA, even MU, I got XLE for energy and BE for energy. So these bad boys move. Even um, for the people, you know, that can afford it, you know, the Netflix, the Amazons, the Googles, the QQQs, these bad boy move with, you know, in 30 minutes, 45 minutes, we can make 30, 30% from each and every ticker, even the FBs, uh, the Facebook, they move quick, but only if you can afford it. Only, I don't want you to go in. So what I want you guys to do is to have two tickers, two good tickers that you want to watch. Put one here and put the other one. You can put, um, you know, anything, put one here, put Microsoft at the bottom however you want to do it, and just watch that 15-minute orb. Set it both, watch that 15-minute, and you can go in either one. Once you see the pattern form, once you see that con confirmation of if it's going above the green for a car or below the red for puts, and watch the SMAs or EMAs for uh, continuation. This is only continuation and support. So once it crossed, I know for a fact it will go up. So even for Microsoft, Microsoft looked good by tomorrow, but we may not know until we, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, until we, we we find out. For instance, even right here, the, the following day, um, let's look at this, the 11th. Um, is this February 11th? Oh, no, I'm up here. All right. Look at here. It looks like it was going up the next day. What if I would have called and say, hey, let's do FB call for tomorrow. Just swing it. We would have got stomped out. Because this looked good. This look, It was going down, but then all signs showing that uh, buyers was coming in. And I would have called it. And first thing in the morning, we would have lost. No, everything gapped up today. 
and eh, not yeah, but majority, majority like here gapped up. This what didn't I don't really understand. And that's crazy. Yeah, I don't trust it anymore. I don't trust this the 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 market right now. Only thing I can trust is our confirmation on how we can get in and out as quickly as possible. That is it. That's what we're going to concentrate on. I don't want anyone to try try to hold no longer than maybe no longer than an hour, hour 15. Once you see a nice definite trend. No longer get in. Um, let's look for another one. Let's look for Qualcomm. Let me take this out. So Qcom, Qcom would have been perfect. All right, look at this. You look for at least the first or second for confirmation. You also look at the nine and uh, 20 for a nice golden cross. You could even get in here just in case. You could look at here to see, okay, is this good enough for us to go in? And the MACD no lag probably would have been perfect. As you can see, it was green here. So that would have been a confirmation. Matter of fact, I don't even want to use this anymore. That would have been a confirmation right here to go in. And of course, it would have been beautiful. Golden Cross, MACD shows us on an uptrend. We would have got in for a few minutes, uh, an hour or so, and probably would have made, you know, 20, 30%, 40, $50 and get, and get out. That's what I want, want us to do right now. So, um, Wilma, you probably gonna have to fund your uh, your Weibo because I know with 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 um, Robinhood you have three per week, so you probably want to um, just to play. Well, you can try it tomorrow if you have um, some days available. You can definitely try uh -huh. it tomorrow on um, Robinhood. But if we're gonna do this, and if it works, we're gonna do this continuously on a daily basis. You know, you probably need to uh, fund your 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 Weibo, even with two three hundred dollars. Nothing major. Two three hundred dollars. We can play some small ones. We can play like the F's, the Fords, and the Apples, and so forth like that. The the cheaplies, where we can make some quick money and out uh, with this particular play. All yeah, right. I don't have any day trades on. <laughs> I used them up last week. They on um. Yeah, and see, and the swings, are, swings are killing us. The swings are killing us, and this is what I want to avoid. The swings are killing us. Yeah, I just went back to strangle. <laughs> <laughs> so, guy, if you have any questions, you know, let me know. Contact me and so forth, so we can, you know, get it popping. But this here is a no-brainer. You only look for confirmation if it's going on an uptrend. Confirmation if it's going on a downtrend for calls or puts. Simple. What is that setting called? Just or 15 minutes ORB when we yeah. look it up? Uh-huh. Let me show you. <clears throat> it's ORB 15 minutes by uh, Equity Dorai. There's another one. I tried this one. This was okay. Matter of fact, let me take this out. I didn't like it. This one here, the 15 minute one is perfect. They do have a five minute, but five minutes is like one minute. It is choppy like crazy. You want to, all, all, we, all we are looking for is direction. We're looking for direction and we're looking for how long can we stay in that direction before it reversed on us. Once we get that confirmation, we go in, make some profits, and get out. All right. And then you put your nine and your 20 uh, SMA or EMA on there. You can put you can put whatever indicator, just one indicator, RSI if you want, or uh, MACD, whatever the case may be. That would that would be another confirmation on how to stay in the particular play, too. And that's it. That is it. We okay. This is a perfect one here. This is a uh, firm. A firm. Everything look look uh look like put. Oh, come on. Everything look like puts. Oh, come on. Not my mouse again. Yeah. So everything look like puts right now, and the second candle is red. 
It's under the fifth. It's under the twenty and nine EMA. Uh, MACD. You can see the MACD right here. MACD showing that it's still going on a downtrend on that particular time frame, about nine fifteen, nine twenty. That we're gonna enter it real quick. Let me try to get another mouse real quick and make some profit off of. Uh, where's my mouse? I swear to God, I hate these wireless mouses. They'll die on you in a minute. Everybody can hear me? Yes, I hear you. Okay, perfect. Let me change my mouse real quick. Okay, this one don't want to work either. What's going on here? Oh my gosh, my mouses don't want to work. That is strange. Let me try one more time. Okay, here we go. No, I don't want that. All right, we'll end it here. But guys, um, this is simple. Go ahead and uh, try it. We're going to try it all together. Just pick one or two stocks that, that has high, uh, high IV that we can make some money in and out that, that, that moves. You, you want to find a stock that moves two, three, four dollars, um, two, three, four dollars at, at any given time like the Teslas. And even with Teslas, we can go out to out of the money uh, $1,200 or $1,100 and we can still make 40, 50 bucks within that time frame just by Tesla because Tesla moves. I okay, love that, was my, that was my question today. Um, how do you pick which strike you're going to do out the money? You look uh, at just, the open interest? Not Yeah, that and how, how much a stock move daily. You got to know how much your stock move daily. I know for a fact with, with like Teslas and NVIDIA, they can move. Okay. They yeah, can move. Was, yeah, that's what I didn't know, you know. Yeah, find the stocks that you know for a fact. This is this is, this is is another thing. How Your top five, you need to know how your top five operates on a daily basis. Okay. Daily, weekly, uh, monthly basis. You need to know how, how, how they operate. So you can know for a fact, hey, should I go way out the money and still make money or get closer to in the money? Because again, each strike price may be expensive. So if you have the money, definitely get into in the money. But if you don't, you still want to play and make some money because you see that confirmation, by all means, go out the money that you can afford, but yet you're not going to make as much, but yet you're still going to make money. And that will give you a confident uh, your, your confidence will build up knowing for the knowing that hey i know how to read this chart i know how to know i know how to read this strategy now i can go big remember i, was, I showed you one today and i was saying that the open interest and the spread depreciation and all that was good and you said yeah but go out one more week yeah for uh what was it nvidia right he does nvidia yeah so why did you tell me to do that I, because you, i think you wanted to play for earnings okay yes Yes. Right. So what if earnings tank? I got you. You would need that extra week to fill that gap. Because that open interest was 11,000 in there. Yeah. It, 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 look, look at Roblox. Roblox today. RBLX. RBLX. I, I was researching that and everybody, you know, everything was good, even with uh, prior earnings, but they still tank today. Yeah. I hear you. you know what I'm saying? So I don't even, uh, you know, with with with, with uh, earnings, I'm I'm, I'm not going to play a lot anymore. Me either. I'm not. I'm not either. I'm not either. Yeah, the next day you'll be negative 99%. Facebook got me. I mean, it didn't and give me a chance to get a dollar. And don't play the stock don't move. Whew. Oh my gosh, yes. That's the worst. Yes. PFE. I was like, what the hell wrong with PFE? Right, right. <laughs> like, I'm damn. Like, that was four grand down the hole. Just like that. I'm like, God damn. I didn't want to even, I didn't even want to pay swings no more really at all. 
Yeah, yeah. So we, we, we're going to try to play scalp. We're going to scalp and day trade. Depending on how the market moves that particular day, we're going to scalp and day trade, make our money 20, 30, 45%. Get out. Okay. Get out. I want to tell Wilma, she's the boss, though. I, I like watching her stuff. Wilma, yeah. <laughs> I like watching you, girl. I try. This is not as good. easy. You do good. <laughs> good. Yeah, and and I can let, let me tell you something about Wilma. Wilma came to me with no, I'm talking about zero zilch experience. Okay, ah, oh, there go my mouse. Wilma came to me with no experience. All right, after all, videos and videos, and Wilma uh, asking questions like crazy. Okay, I'm talking about my inbox used to just blow up with Wilma. <laughs> okay, I thought I was bugging you. All you right. know what I'm saying? Wilma, I mean, Wilma, she had my number two. She would call. And I, I don't have any problem with that. You know, I want everybody to be the best that they can be. It. And what it was in now, five months, six months now, Wilma? Mm -hmm. Six months now, Wilma calling her own plays. And Wilma is helping the, the, the free chat room. So this is this is what I want from, from you two ladies and everyone else. I'm going to give you everything that I know, everything that's 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 uh, profitable, okay? Because I, I don't want you guys to lose any type of way. But of course, I can't control the market. We can't control the market. We're not institutions. Definitely not. Right, 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 right. You know, we can't control it. We can only anticipate the movement with our probabilities. And if it's 60% or more, go for it, okay? This here, that's a probability. That's confirmation. Um, the candle, the candlestick patterns, that's confirmation. Um, any type of MACD or RSI that's going in, in that direction, that's confirmation. So if we can get 60 to 50, 50 to 60 to 70% confirmation, by all means, go for it. Believe in yourself. Trust your gut. Okay. Learn the patterns. Okay. Learn how the stock moves. For instance, this is a firm. All you have to do with um with with uh robin hood you just go over it and you can see, you see this price right here mm -hmm. so this is how much it moved today a dollar ten this is how much it moved today to uh the uh february 14th 285 this is how much it moved friday 12 dollars this is how much it moved 16 dollars so you can average it out, average it average it out and say, you know what? This is an average of, of you know, like four or five dollars, maybe six dollars. So I would average five dollars, five, six dollars, just to be on the safe side. So when you go to 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 set your contract, depending if you have the money, or if you don't, you're still gonna make money ten dollars out the money versus five dollars in the money. You see what I mean? So if you okay. put a forty dollar play and it's in the money, but you know this moves about five, six dollars. Hey, why not do a $45 play, which is cheaper? Okay. And if it moves your direction, you're still going to make money. Not as much money as you get in the $40 contract, but you'll get something. Right. You know, that's why with Tesla, Tesla, um, one more before we go. On a mm -hmm. daily, you see, Tesla moves $40. You know, sometimes $30. On an average, Dang. if it's a good day, $90, $100. So dang. if you average that out, hmm? I'm saying, dang, I didn't know yeah. it was like that. Yeah. So if you average it, it out, if you average it out, and it said 920 something, that's why I told you guys to do 1100. Because in a matter of time, Tesla can move to 1100 just like that. If everything goes well, you know what I mean? So for instance, like this one, Tesla moved $108 that day on a, on a put. So if we would have got in here and I told you guys to do a, let's say a $700 put for cheaper versus a $800 put, we still would have made money. Because see how Tesla moved that day? $108. It's like, what are the likely chances of that happening again? <laughs> oh, Tesla's, yeah, listen, right now on a daily, Tesla's is in a consolidation period. I'm waiting for Tesla and I, I, just even for last week, I was like, you know what? Tesla's going to move. But my confirmation now going forth with Tesla because of this uh, consolidation, I'm going to wait till about Tesla hits around 945 or so. You see this line here? This is my mm -hmm. confirmation. Once it go over, we're going to play put uh, calls on Tesla. It's almost ready. 
but just not yet. I just want that other confirmation of it going to about 945. And I know for a fact it's going to move to a thousand within within hours. If it opens up at 945 tomorrow and everything looks well on the 15 minute, let's say everything looks well on the 15 minute and it and it moves and you see that golden cross right here, I will stay in that play all day once it goes over the 945 mark. Because I know if Tesla moves 108, Tesla's gonna move. Tesla moves. Tesla move. Sometime, look at this, you know, $100, $159 here. Look at this one, $139 for a put. When Tesla has it a good day, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, Tesla will move. But right now, Tesla's in a consolidation period right now. As you can see, that is the resistance and it, it, it has been in this resistance ever since for about um, January 27th. So it's been up and down, up and down daily. I don't trust it yet until it goes above that 945. That's when I and go in. Are there any fundamentals to tell us why it's doing that? Do you know, have you heard or read? Well, just, you know, there's like news, Tesla being sued. Okay. Um, there's a lot of car crashes going on right now with Tesla, okay. you know, with that aut autonomous stuff going on. I've seen videos where people are sleeping on the highway doing 80 miles per hour while putting on Tesla Autonomous, thinking it's safe. Then their dogs drive what? and stuff. Yeah, then yeah. Dogs go on drive. YouTube. Go on YouTube. You'll see it. Sleepy. Yeah, I saw that too. People turn on their Autonomous thinking that it's foolproof and 30 minutes later, they day in a crash. Just like that. Oh my God! So yeah, they're 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 getting you know being sued, a lot of litigation going on right now. Uh, so once everything is over, hopefully by next week, I'm looking for nice puts. I mean, nice nice calls for Tesla. Gabe, it, I no. need I need you to fix my um trading view. I'm sorry. Can you was... go into mine? Like sign into mine? I just can't fix it like yours. <clears throat> All right, I'll set it up. After this, I'll set it up right now. Okay, thank right, you. Just, no problem. Hold tight, hold tight. All right, Eldora, Regina, guys, I have any any issue, any uh, questions? I'm good. I will just have to play with it and see. But um, how, is this recorded? Where will we where, where Yes, it's that? recorded. It's recorded. I'll go ahead and uh, post it. And it'll be posted in, in uh, Signal? Uh, it'll be posted on YouTube, and I'll send the Signal. I'll, I'll send the link to Signal. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, Onyx, Onyx, and I'm Party good. were both trying Thank to get you. in, but they missed. Uh, they were late getting in. I yeah, I see. Before. Yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to stop because it was just so good. No, no, I didn't yeah. want to stop. Yeah, so, they both had meetings at work, but I told him he was recording it. Okay, not a problem. We'll get it done. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. We'll see All you right, in the morning, night, guys. All right. Good night. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Let me stop this. All right, you still here? Yes. You can see my screen? Uh, hold on one minute. I was looking at my trading view. Okay, yes. Oh, you can see it? Okay, let me log out. Mm -hmm. Ooh, do I have to log out of mine? Can more than one person log in? At the same time? Uh, yeah. All right, what, what's your uh, thing? It's W I L M A N I E um, 1065 at Yahoo. Um, the password is L I L M A N 1065. All lower caps? Uh, I don't know. Try. Okay. Why, why does that look like yours? I don't know. Hold on one second. Okay. Yeah. So this is yours here. You sure? I think yeah. You have you have all these stocks like this. 
Oh yeah, it says somebody just logged in. You're right. That's okay. mine. Man, my my laptop just died. But how do you fix it? Like how you organize it, and then my charting. Fix how you organize it here. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see what you. Oh gosh. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. Um, what is this? You see how yours is grouped? Yeah. And like. Not a problem. I got you right now. That's stocks, futures. Um, let's do this. Uh, SPY. Um, no, hold on. Let me look at my screen again. My screen. So where's your VIX? And okay, so futures. <clears throat> All right, you see here? Mm -hmm. Okay, all you have to do is hold it and drag it above certain things. So right here, this will be your futures, okay? Mm -hmm. Then all you have to do is left click, either add a uh, symbol or, or section. You add a section, and that section will appear like section one. And then you name it. Yeah, then you name it. Um, let's let's do the S and P five hundred stuff. So you then you type it. Um, how's my uh, Hold on one minute. Okay, so you name it. Now, after that, you just put everything that's under like the S&P 500. So I would put, um, yeah, keep Apple. I'm gonna do this, Apple. Then you, you add a symbol. Let's say, oh, you already got FB on here. Let's see if FB will pop up. Okay, FB will pop up. So FB is here, Apple here, Tesla here, Netflix. Let's put uh, Amazon. A M Z N Amazon there. Let's go to Google. G L. Add it there. Um, I M W. I'm sorry. I W M. I W M there. I'm going to I'm going to do it like mine. Okay. Mom. So now you have all the uh S&P 500 here, okay? You can arrange them how you want. You can just right click, hold it and put it up. So if you want to see like the big winners or the big hitters that you love to play, just put mm -hmm. them on, you know, just put them on top. Drag and oh. drop it just like that. Okay. All right. So let's do another one. Um, let's do the uh, let's do semiconductors. So I already added a section here. Dylan, give me my glasses. Okay, so now this is the semiconductors. Um, let me see. Let's add a. I'm going to add SMH. SMH is the uh, the ETF for semiconductors. Semiconductor? Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. So I'm going to add it right here. Then I'm going to eat, keep adding all the semiconductors. So I'm going to put like Qualcomm right there. Um, AMD. Uh, NVIDIA. AV Go. Where are they? Did they come? Qualcomm. That's which one? A V G O. Okay. That's semiconductor. Uh, uh, um. There's other ones. Oh, there's Intel. 
ITC. Intel, there's, oh, I like these other two are good too. You want to check out. I'm going to add them. You can delete them if you want to. GFS, that's the Global Foundries. They're semiconductors. Um, and on. I love them. Oh, you want to put TSM in there? Yeah, that's fine. Timmy, yeah, I love TSM now. All right, so you have the semiconductors. Um, so let's put, let's go to financials. So add a selection. And I'm just gonna put financials. And then we're gonna put like uh, BAC and stuff like that on there, the banks. Mm -hmm. JPM. Mommy. Yeah. Mommy. My tablet is there. Nope. No tablet tonight. JPM. Go in the room. Go in the room. Go in. City. Morgan Stanley. Um, oh, Wells Fargo. Mastercard, you like Mastercard? You want it in there? Uh, that's fine. All right, Mastercard. I'm gonna put Mastercard and Visa because they good too. Visa they and and American Express, AXP. All right. Um, I PayPal. PayPal is financial. Yeah, PayPal yeah, is financial. Mom. All right. So financials, everything is there. And the ones that you play the most and know that you have or you want to play and know that have good, good, uh, good power moves, push moves on a daily. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. and You see this little red flag here, this little flag right there next to it. All you got to do is click that and put whatever color you want. Oh, OK. So then all you got to do is know for a fact, hey, I like playing these. So all the ones that you want, you can just put a little mark on them, the ones that you like playing the most. Oh, OK. All right. So you, you get to them quicker. But everything is there. Semiconductor, uh, financials. Then what you want to do, like healthcare. put the health care like the PFEs, J&Js. Then the next section you want to do. EVX. Yep, then you want to do EVs next. Okay. Ne NEOs, LCID have their own section, and then energy have their own section. Okay, and then all the miscellaneous ones you can still have too, like the McDonald's and the Dollar Trees and the DocuSign, Coca Cola, and all of them. Just the ones that you like playing, know for a fact. And then, you know what? Here's what I want to do. I love that. We're gonna to go to the charting section. Okay. So your top five, I'm gonna, you know, whenever you're ready, you can add those symbols right here on your top five. That's the section you just made? Yeah, right here. Which one of your top five? Um, uh, right now, <laughs> I got no top five to trade. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm, definitely put a Tesla up in there. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm keep it. Tesla once. We love Tesla. Oh yeah, keep it there. I'm gonna show you how to how to win with Tesla. All right. So what you want to know next? Oh, okay. The charting, the 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 settings that I have, mm -hmm. I need to reset everything. Okay. Like what you were showing. It's only allowing me to do three, but I don't understand. It's telling. I don't know what to remove, not what to remove. What's that? Oh, three like, here. Yeah, the, it's only saying that I'm only allowed to do three. You need you could do five. You have the paid one. That's not that's not my chart. That's my chart. No, no. Did you do the paid one? Yeah, I paid like fourteen ninety nine for it or something. Really? Let me see something. You have three here, four, four here. But that's not my chart. That is have... not. Yes, that is not your chart. Why is my chart showing up on yours? Let me see something. This is my chart. Oh, did you know what? Did you add the orb when when we was on the, the Zoom? 
I I thought I did, but it didn't work. Oh, yeah, it's there. Right it's there. And you changed the settings, right? I didn't do anything. Oh shit! Okay. Are Why we is mine showing up? All right, let me do this. I'm gonna do one thing. Let me sign out. Sign out. Let me take get out of here. Leave. W I L M A uh -huh. N I E. Okay, I see it right here. L I L mm -hmm. M A N mm -hmm. one zero six five. This is your chart? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me see something. Okay, so everything is there with your top five and your and and okay, so that's beautiful. All right. So you have two. Actually, you can leave this here. Stop. Do this. Uh, nine and twenty. Uh, close that. So now you have the nine and twenty. So let me take out the two hundred. You don't need that. The nine. Um, the nine is the red, and the twenty is the black. Okay. All right. So that's that. MACD, RSI. Why you got two RSIs? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you to look at it. Okay. You can leave that. You can leave that. Oh, okay. You have the RSI with the with the moving average on it. That's fine. Let me see. Four moving average. All right. That's okay. All right. I'm going to set this up here. I'm going to do something. Uh Five one thirty. So the nine and the twenty SMA. Mm -hmm. I'm not used to that one. Is that for short term trades? Yeah. Is that why we're using it? Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to save it. You know how to save it, right? I'm going to save it to another one. You can always go back to your original. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. I'm just going to put some stuff on here for you real quick. So to get to stuff quicker. I set it up right here for you, like the day, the week and everything. Mm -hmm. So you can just jump to five and 10, 15 quicker than try to do oh. the drop down and go here and here and here and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I set that up for you. I'm gonna set up a bar right here for you of all the quick stuff you may need to chart. For instance, like the trend line, you definitely want. Um, this line, the horizontal line, you definitely want this here, the fib. You definitely, you see how it's popping up right here for you? Where down there? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to show you something. This here, the rectangle, put the highlighter, Texas here. Okay. So that's all you need for now. So you don't. So right now you don't even have to go here anymore. So if you want to chart something real quick or, or set some lines up, just go right here, set it up however you want. So it's faster. So if you want to do uh you want to, if you want to use this here, the trend lines, you can use that real quick. So it's, everything is right there fast for you. And it's always gonna okay. be there. Okay. All right. Um, what else? What else you want on here? Oh, the, okay. the indicator. The orb. You see how I was trying to put the MACD zero lag? Mm hmm. Hold on. Let me fix that for you. No, no. There you 
Okay. You got it. Right here. So I'm going to um say I'm gonna um, say no, I'm trying to do something. All right, so I you only have one. So you see where it says load charts? Right here? Load charts. Yeah. Yes. Okay, right here. Then you click on this side, manage chart layouts. You put you click on load charts, and you could add up to like four or five different charting stuff. So this one here I set as the orb for you, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say if you you don't want to use the orb, if you want to go back, this is the fifteen minute time frame stuff, right? So let's say you want to go back just the regular stuff. Um, I would probably take this out, then go back to the twenty, fifty, and the two hundred. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's the regular keep everything else then what you i'll have do to... now i'm gonna set it up for you oh you Secure. name it mm -hmm. regular oh so let's say if, if you don't want to use the orb now if you just want to chart like for long term or swings and stuff like that you want to use the orb you go down here load chart oh you bastard hold mm -hmm. on Oh, I didn't save it like I wanted. Okay, regular chart. Rename. Ah, okay, okay. So this is regular chart. Let me go back to the orb real quick. It messed me up. I know what I did wrong. And the 9 Mm-hmm. Nine and twenty. Leave at fifteen minutes. Make a copy. Let me see if it did it. Okay, so now this is orb. If you want to go to the regular, you just click uh, load chart, and the regular one will, will be right there, and you can automatically pop up to you just your regular charts. They look the same. Well, yeah, you can change it because you know, the only thing is, you see, this one doesn't have the orb in it. Oh. You see? So if I want to load chart again, I click the orb. And, the, oh, the orb not here? Bitch. <laughs> Hold on. One more time. <clears throat> okay, the orb. Save it. It should be there. Let me go back one more time. Let me load chart, go to regular. Okay, so that's the regular. Mm -hmm. Wanna do the orb, load chart, go to the orb and it should pop up. Ah, bam, there we go. So you have okay. the regular chart for you. The orb, you always know to go to the 15 minute first at 9.45. Oh, look at NVDA if we would have played it at at around 10 o'clock at 10 15. You see that it went above the green. Mm -hmm. You see how it went above the green at 9 45. This is 10 o'clock. You see how it's it's not completely over the uh green. So I still wouldn't yeah. go yet just in case. But if you want to be bold enough, you see that golden cross. Right, that's telling you it's starting the trend. It started a trend and it'd be a nice long trend all day long. So if you, you could have got in here during the golden cross or the next one, you still would have made a lot of money just by this. Mommy, I can do it. Just by that. So this strategy is really good. We just have to time our entry. 
just have to time our entry. Once you see this golden cross starting to form right here, and if you feel lucky, just go to five minute and just wait. See how that bounce occurred right here? Yeah. That's where I would have gone in. Right here. That bounce right here. Once it bounced and continue up, we would have got in right here, right in time for that golden cross right here. And we would have rolled it all the way up from, let's say, 252 to 264, just like that. Just like that, because they already set the support and resistance. We just got to time it right once it goes up or down. If it's a death cross, then you mm -hmm. know for a fact we're going to play puts. Just like right here. You see how that's a death cross right here? Yesterday? Where? Where? That this is the this is the 11th. You see that death cross? Let me move this. Oh, I yeah. You see that death cross? We would have played puts or wait for the second candle to go underneath oh. here. I can't see the screen. Oh, which side? Oh, right here. yes, I see it. This oh, is the 11th, yeah. February 11th. You see that go, that death cross that up here? Friday. Yeah, see that death cross it. up here? Boom, we would have waited to the second candle for confirmation or we would have got in right here. It doesn't matter, but I would definitely want us to wait for confirmation just in case it bounced back on us for no reason. But what I didn't understand on Friday, you said you sold your position. That's why I was like, okay, I wasn't gonna play in the video. Yeah, Did I sold. Did you back in? I, yeah, we went back, I went back in today. No, 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 on Friday. Oh no, I didn't go, I didn't go back in until today. In the video, I didn't. I didn't play any of the video yesterday or anything. I played it today. When I called it, remember I called it at around. Um, did I call it in video or AMD? Yeah, I called it in video. This is when I got in. Where is it? Yeah, right here at three thirty. But I was too late because we could have wrote it. If we, if I would have caught it earlier, we would have wrote it whew, all day long with super duper profits. All day long. Because of this is a confirmation, one, two, and it's above the resistance, three. Three confirmations, that's good for me. And we don't even have to look at the MACDs or anything else. Or even a volume. I'm not, I don't even look. I don't even have to look at the volume. Probably just the MACD. I would look at right here. You see how the MACD right now? That that nice little golden cross coming in on the I MACD. I can't see your screen. You see it here? No, I can't see. What? I did the share. Something's going on. Hmm. Hold on. Let me try one more time. Oh, now I see something. Hello? Yeah, you see it? Yeah, I see. Yeah, I see something. But you, you, do you see the map? Do you see the uh, ticker? You see the chart? I'm trying to see what's wrong with the zoom. It's so tiny. Why is it so small? Hmm. I see it. But small, huh? Yeah, it's small on my screen. Okay. I don't know what happened. I All right, don't I worry. <clears throat> don't worry. But you know, you see the you, you see the you'll see the concept <clears throat> once you go to an NVIDIA. And all you got to do is just look at it, look at the MACD when it crossed for confirmation and go in whenever you're ready. Okay, so is the trading view helping you on the phone? Because you know we use mobile phone a lot. Yes, it definitely helps. Mm -hmm. It helps. I don't understand. You are you on your phone? Well, when I'm at work and we're using this strategy, I'm just trying to figure out how. Yes, 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 definitely. Yes, absolutely. If you're at work, definitely use that. Because the, the 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 app, it's not, it don't, 
you'll see it once once you refresh log out of the app and log back in it will automatically pop up the orb for you okay yeah i said it where it, it, it goes to your you know your phone should automatically uh <clears throat> see it oh i see the setup yeah i see all the group that we did that you did good so you 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 ready to rock and roll It's, uh, so in the settings, it's not the same though. Ooh. Which one, as far as the what? I'm trying to see the settings on the phone, how to get to that chart, the way you did it. But I guess- it's, it's No, it's automatically, I automatically set it. Don't touch anything. Okay. It's automatically set for you. <clears throat> you if you want, you probably, probably have to, Oh, wow, there's a lot of volume coming in, too, for tomorrow. Shit. Nice. You probably, you know what? Take out the volume. You know what? Let me do it right now for you. Let me do it right now. Let me do it right now. Save you some time. Take out the volume, and I guess you can leave the RSI. Yeah, take out the volume at RS. Oh, I'm going to show you another one. <clears throat> You're going to love this one. Hold on one second. I'm going to show you something. I can't see your screen. Ah, oh, freaking flang. Okay, we'll try tomorrow. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> no, I want to show you the uh, another another uh, RSI. It's like an oversold, overbought uh, indicator. It's really cool. Matter of fact, I'm going to add it and save it, and you'll see it. Okay. Yeah, let me add it right now. Hold on. I'm trying to find which one it is. You guys not ready for bed? Jesus. Come on. Let's go. Aww. Go sleep with Dad. Hold up, let me try to find it, Matt DeLong. How come I can't see the screen? I have no idea. I have <laughs> no idea, girl. I can't see anything. Hold on, I'm gonna set something up so you don't have to worry. So. Where is it? Where is it? Sorry, just the brain. I gotta find it. Don't worry, I'll I'll find it and then I'll tell you which one it is to add to your chart. Okay. All right. So log into your computer. I'm gonna log out of your 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 name now. So log into your laptop. You probably see it. Or, or your phone log out or from your phone and your laptop so these could automatically populate okay all right okay i'm gonna log out log out <laughs> Profile. all right i'm logged out all right, let me log out. Here. Let me get out of here. What are we going to do? Um, 4X. 4X? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get what's his name to teach us um crypto spider or uh, a chubby asian 
and so forth because forex is so it's not really complicated but the platform the metatrader platform and all that crap you got to go through a lot of process with that crap but right now i'm just concentrating i'm just concentrating on you guys making money with this so we'll probably do it on a weekend or something just to do some class well, the reason why i say that is because the market is closed on the weekend <laughs> yeah you can still make money on the weekend yeah no you can still make money on, on the weekend with forex matter of well, fact even with crypto yeah even with crypto you can make money on the weekends uh, we haven't been focusing on crypto We'll, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out a day where we can get some practice. Cause I I'm still new to to to, to trading crypto on a MetaTrader platform. I still got to find out what's going on and learn the process. But once we do that, we'll 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 go for it. Actually, if you want, you and I will probably just you know watch some videos and stuff like that, and then just get a grasp of it, and we'll we'll see what we can do. All righty. All right. All right, girl. So go ahead. And let's let's make some money tomorrow. Oh, did you did you see Baba today? What is Baba? Alibaba. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to it. Oh when my gosh. Baba flew. But the thing about it is you got to be careful with Baba because it will tank on you the next day if you're not careful. Yeah, we got to get in and out with them. <laughs> in and out. That's why I said, you know what? Check right Baba and Badu. It's consolidating a little bit. Hmm? It's consolidating a little bit. On the daily? One day it's red. Yeah, one day it's green. A couple days it's green. It's yeah. Green. But it's in a squeeze, it's in a little tight squeeze consolidation wise for now. And then Bidu, whatever, B I D U. I never traded that one. Badu, Badu flew today. It flew, it did around. Six dollars up. Yeah, it did about two, three percent or more today. All right, girl. So let's rock and roll tomorrow, girl. If you need anything, let me know. Okay. All right, then. Talk to you later. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, bye.